Good morning. Happy Easter. Good morning. Good morning. Happy, Happy Easter. Easter. All right. So we're going to start off today on this Easter morning, and we're happy to be able to talk to you uh, right now. Even though we can't be together, we're happy to be able to talk to you. We have our friends with us, Mr. Hudson, with he's a, we call him Easter the, the Easter Bubby, because we call him Mr. Bubby, and so he's the Easter Bubby. And this is just a chocolate rabbit. Uh, Hank is a chocolate rabbit. So they do not like the ears that much. Hudson will wear them for a while if you keep petting him, um, but he's not a huge fan. Don't drop those either. So. Happy Easter once again. Um, what we are going to go over today is I have a little children's message to share with all of you. Um, for the big people and maybe even for the little people on the church's website or, and on Facebook page and I believe on YouTube, there's also, um, there's also about a 30-minute worship service on there for people to, to watch as well. It has a little bit longer sermon. So, um, so it's good to have people here with us this morning, and if we were in church, we would say, Christ is risen, and then the response would be, he is risen indeed. So, uh, good morning to Mindy, and to Jeff, and to Joshua, and to Marilyn. Um, good morning and happy Easter to all of you, and to, uh, uh-oh, one of my friends, uh, Andrew, Pastor Andrew Gukin, and him with his family, uh, with Katie and Alex and I can't Emily. Um, so, and Pastor Andrew sent me a pre-Easter picture yesterday that I, I really, really enjoyed. So, happy Easter to my to my pastor friend uh, up in Rochester, New York, at Resurrection Lutheran. Uh, John Presnell, John and Jen and Audrey and. Um, Jonathan and Lindsay, hello. So, um, for this, we have this going on. I'll give my little children's message, uh, and then uh, we'll have a prayer at the end, uh, like we've done the last few times. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, in the comment section, please feel encouraged uh, to offer uh, prayer requests in there, and we'll try to get them in the prayer. Uh, I will also leave a little short period of time for people uh, to be able to offer prayers themselves. And then finally know that if it doesn't get offered during this period of time, while we're live together, that I will go back later and look at the comments and make sure I'm offering prayers later today as well. So, the Vyers, and I got to see the huge picture of Fred the Turtle. He really is a huge nice. turtle. He's about, yeah takes over a queen size bed. So, happy Easter, Andrew, um, my friend. So, um, so here's what I want to share with all of you. So, we're having some technical adjustments potentially. I have to, I'm, I'm saying what I'm seeing, okay? So she's not gonna do it now because I mentioned it, so we're just gonna stay exactly with her. Now she's like, why are you saying? I'm not doing it, just stop talking about me, and the producer uh, can get wound up sometimes. So, I don't know about your guys' family, but my family, one of the things we do during Easter is we color eggs. So yesterday, Grace and Ben colored eggs, extra large eggs, which uh, smell that smell like eggs, um, and they were fantastic, and they did a great job to make sure they don't fall out. We got different colors, we'll put them out, and then one of my challenges every year is to see how many eggs I can eat before my family yells at me, okay? <laughs> and it's usually only a couple of them, but I'm going to power through this year. I think I can do it. 24 eggs in one day, that's my goal. So, uh, so we color eggs, extra large eggs. So we, we have these eggs, um, and we color them. And one of the things I noticed, and I don't know if we'll be able to get this in the shop, you'll be able to see as much is when you're coloring Easter eggs, you get color dye on your hands sometimes. Now, my family was smart uh, because a lot of them used gloves uh, for this. Um, but, um, 
Hey there, Pedersen family. Uh, but I did not have, so I kind of went all in. Um, what's that? And the Knights. And the Knights. Oh, and Janelle. Hi. So I kind of went all in. I started dyeing the eggs. I got a little bit of coloring on my hands. And the next thing you know, I had a whole bunch. And my thought was, I'll just wash the dye off my hands. Because, you know, we've been washing our hands like crazy anyway. Um, I just thought, I'll just do that. And I've washed my hands, and I've washed my hands, and I've washed my hands for longer than I've probably ever washed my hands. And they're still food color. And they're still dye from the Easter eggs. So, see, up, see that? See it up close? Yes. All right. So, <clears throat> excuse me, just a little fun here. Um, just a little bit of fun. So here's how, I guess I want to know for you guys, let us know in the chat, did you guys color any Easter eggs this year? Anybody color anybody? Hey there. Hey there, Krauts. How you doing? Anybody? Let us know if you colored any eggs. And then if you did color eggs, did you get any dye on your hands? Um, well, Ben smells all of our eggs. <laughs> yeah, sure. they, don't uh, they don't smell good. They don't smell good. However, notice he keeps smelling them. <gasps> Mindy, you guys colored eggs. Joshua, did you help? Did you help color eggs? I'm sure that's a lot of fun. Did you show your baby sister what it's like to color eggs? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, so when we color eggs and we get the dye in our hands and if it stays in, oh, Jonathan had dyed fingers for days. Jonathan, I'm on your team, buddy. I'm on your team. I got them on there as well. And it's just, it's in there. Um, we didn't get any dye. He had a lot of fun doing the eggs. Well, your mom is very, very careful. So, yes, I was told it looks like I strangled like the Hulk or Smurfs or something like that, um, which all seemed very violent, and I don't know why people would jump to that. However, um, it's just the dye from the, the eggs. And it got me thinking. I've been trying to get the dye off. I've been trying to wash it off. And then this is what came to me. The experience of Easter, how we experience and celebrate the resurrection of Jesus the Christ, the resurrection of the Son of God, <clears> how <throat> we've gone all through Lent um, talking about the various miraculous things that Jesus did all the way up until Good Friday, all the way uh, till he died on the cross, and then this morning we celebrate uh, Christ's resurrection, and we get to say Alleluia again. And we get to say Alleluia. So you gotta Alleluia. yell it. Alleluia! Hi, Jocelyn. Hi. Yeah. Hi, fam. So, um, yeah, I, I choked the Smurf. Chokey Smurf. Yeah, I'm, I'm the one that uh, that uh, doesn't get shown in the cartoons very often. Oh, so, Marie's here. Hi, Marie. Hi, Marie. Um, Marie? So, yeah, now I can't stop doing this, which keeps reiterating me choking a Smurf or Godzilla or something Godzilla. like that. Well, I don't know. Godzilla. Godzilla got this. Anyway, focus. Like a regular children's sermon. Uh, get off topic. So, th what we celebrate, what we experience as uh, on Easter and the resurrection is it's not something, something that's supposed to be just for one day. I know, and this year's different, but I know usually when we have Easter celebrations, they're one day we have them at church and uh, or we have them with our families and our friends. And we're like, oh, it's Easter, that's the day, and then after that, we're kind of move on. But I think, kind of like the dye that's on my hands that I've tried to wash off and won't come off, like the dye that's on my hands, we're supposed to take the celebration of Easter and everything that it means, and, and Christ being raised from the dead, and take it with us. Yeah. It's supposed to keep stay, it. keep it, yes, Ben, it's supposed to stay with us. It's supposed to be with us each and every day. So, am I going to continue to try to get the, the food coloring off of my hands? Yes, I'm going to. And eventually, hopefully at least by next Easter, I'll have it off uh, after a lot of good washing. Okay. Um, but until then, the color of my hands, or the Easter eggs in your house, or the Maybe there's some other piece of Christian artwork in your house. All of those little things will help remind us of the resurrection. And it's not just something we celebrate today, but something we celebrate every day. I just had an idea of maybe how to get... Hi, Birdhouse family. Um, oh, hi, Jean. Um, 
a way of potentially getting the die off my hands. Hank, Hudson, come here. Come here. Hank. Hudson, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm thinking maybe if I rub and pet the dogs hard enough, I can make the dog's fur the color of the Easter eggs. And all of the dye will come off my hands. Do you think that'll work if I do that enough? And then they seem to like it too. So it won't be a big deal. They benefit. They benefit. I benefit. Um, they get to be a chocolate Easter bunny. <laughs> yes. So who knows? Who knows? But so... For the children's message today, for this Easter, when we're not able to be together, the message being that we take uh, the love of God, we take the message of the resurrection beyond today, and it's something that we carry with us and stays with us each and every day after today. Yes. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to kind of kick it into a lower gear, take a deep breath, calm down, because I can get wound up too, and we're going to have a time for prayers, okay? So... Any prayers that we have, any prayers that you have, we'll try to get some of them down. Um, oh, hi, Brian Ewens. Um, What's up, Matt? Um, prayer requests. Because part of this, and, and part of one of my prayers today, is going to be uh, for the Burkhouse, Barkhouse family, Barkhurst family. Sorry, I'm looking other. Barkhurst family. Um, for the loss of, of Debbie's mom who passed away, I believe, on March 7th, uh, that Easter is such a, a great time that we celebrate, but it's also when we celebrate those times, um, either young family, and hi there, Melanie and family, uh, when we celebrate those first holidays after we've lost a loved one, when we're used to celebrating it with them all the time, that can be a hard thing. So we trust in the resurrection. We trust that our family members who we don't get to see here right now anymore, we trust that they, will, they are still with us and we trust that they're with God in the resurrection. But we also admit that it can be kind of hard. It can be hard to celebrate those holidays without our loved ones. So any prayer requests that are in there, have you seen anything specific? Andrew might have to go. What's up, Lauren? Lauren from Oregon. It's early out there. Uh, my other seminary friend. Um, great to see him and, and see that he's, he's watching. Um, so right now, Owen and everybody else, we're taking any kind of prayer requests you have. Um, and it's okay if you don't write anything down. When I'm saying the prayer, everyone's going to be encouraged and, and welcome to pray along with me. And you don't have to, to just go exactly with what I say. You can offer your own prayers while I'm praying as well. And, and we know some of the, the main ones that for the COVID-19 to, to go away, um, for people to be healthy, to protect the healthcare workers, all of those things which we'll include in the prayer. But any other special prayers, um, please feel free to add. And uh, we'll give it another couple seconds before we get going. Yes. It, takes, it, it takes a hot minute. All right. Pet the dogs. Calm down. All right. So even while I'm praying, if you want to uh, offer a prayer in the comments section while I'm praying, that's absolutely fine too. So we say as part of our Lutheran tradition, we say the Lord be with you um, and also with you. Well, thank you. <clears throat> so let us pray. Lord, we give you thanks on this blessed morning, this holy morning, uh, on the day we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, as he is resurrected victorious from the tomb uh, to give new life to all creation. We give you thanks for that. We offer some special prayers on this Easter morning as we celebrate the risen Christ. We offer a prayer for everyone dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic, for those who have passed away from it, for those who are, are suffering um, from this illness, and for all of the, the essential workers that are doing everything and, and helping people, we offer prayers for them. Uh, and for all of us as, during this time of, of adjustment, for teachers, for students, as we've said, um, for people uh, whose jobs might be a little bit uh, less right now, or maybe have lost their jobs, or for people whose jobs have gotten even harder uh, based on the demand for things with what they do. 
We offer prayers for all of them. We also offer prayer for people who have lost a loved one, uh, especially people who have lost a loved one recently, uh, and that this is their first Easter without them for Debbie and her family. Um, and uh, oh, uh, we offer a prayer for, for Matt's brother-in-law, uh, Chad, who lost his dad on Wednesday, um, that we trust for all these people, we trust in the promise of the resurrection, but that we also know that even though we trust in the promise of the resurrection, just like Martha and Mary when Jesus went to see Lazarus, that it's still normal, it's still okay for us to weep and for us to be sad uh, when we lose somebody because we love, we love them. So uh, prayers for, for all of our loved ones, prayers for our family and our friends that we don't get to see this year because of the social distancing and being stay at home. Uh, prayers for our church members, for the church throughout the world, that even though we're distant from one another, uh, that we can never be separated we know that. We can never be separated. We're always together in the Spirit uh, and in truth and worshiping God. Um, we offer a prayer uh, for new families, uh, for those who uh, welcome new ones since their first Easter this year. A special blessing for them. Uh, are there any other prayers necessarily coming through? Okay. Um, so, so Lord, we also take these next few moments silently uh, to offer a period of silence for people to be able to offer up their own prayers either out loud in their homes or, or prayers silently just from their hearts. Lord, we trust that you hear everything that we say, that you hear things uh, that are deep within us that we don't even have the words to say. Uh, we ask this day as we celebrate Easter, and it's not a day we just celebrate today, but it's a day that we take with us uh, into the coming days, weeks, months, and that we just make it a part of our lives so that we become resurrection people um, and not just people who who focus on something for a short time and then lose sight of that. So help us to keep that as our sure uh, foundation. We offer this in all of our prayers in the name of our risen Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Amen. All right, so from our family here, from the Steel Steber family, uh, to all of you, Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Christ Happy is risen. Easter. He is risen indeed. And uh, we hope to be able to see you all soon. And until then, be safe, be healthy, and uh, know that you are always in our prayers and in our thoughts. God bless.